Central Show. She's on fire. Central. She will ignore your passion and bring your purpose to life. The strategies she shares will take you to higher heights. Improving your energy, spirituality, your well being. A better mindset for your journey to build a better you. show. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Central Show. I am so excited to be coming to you guys on another Tuesday. And guess what? It's Women's History Month. So we are celebrating all the contributions that women have made in our history. Make sure that you guys like, share, and follow at The Centrale on all of your social media and use the hashtags Building a Better You and Women's History Month. So earlier this month, we had International Women's Day. Now, I don't know about any of you, I didn't even know that existed. So I'm pretty darn excited that it does because we need to be celebrated. And many of you are probably thinking about those folks that are always celebrated. You may not even be thinking about celebrating yourself. And so I wanted to open the discussion up because as I talk to people and as I experience things on my own, I think about what it means to celebrate our history. And it's not just the history that we know from those people who have been celebrated in media or in the history books, it's the history that we're making on our own. It's our everyday history. And there are so many people out there that deserve to be recognized and so many women out there that are doing amazing things. I thought it would be great to dedicate a show not only to women's history, also to talking about how we build a better you in celebrating the things that you've accomplished. Starting, of course, with myself. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And I'd like to kind of open the discussion up with Women's History Month, right? What is history? We're talking about the story, right? The things that have happened in the past that connect us to someone or something. It literally is that simple. Yet, it's a little bit more than that, right? When we think of history, we think about those notable women like Malala and maybe even, you know, Serena Williams, who's a pro tennis player. These are famous women. Or even Maya Angelou, you know, people that have done significant things and have always been praised in media and have been praised on a stage and we have seen on our TVs and yeah, their accomplishments are vast and they're huge and they're far reaching. I'd like to challenge you to, though to think about those things that you're doing to make history. So recently I celebrated my own history making event and that was the opening of Creed Global Media. And this is my media and production company, and we are live from the studios. And that to me is amazing. And yes, I'm making history. So I had to think about who am I making history for? Well, I'm making history for everyone that I've touched. And I'm also making history for myself. I'm challenging myself to see what I'm made of, right? So where did that come from? You know, there are people in our lives that have planted in us the dreams and the desires to do more and to do better. And I can't say that it came from anyone famous, necessarily, famous in my life. So when I think about the event, I think about all of those people that are making history in my life. And I'm sharing this with you for a reason. So come along with me for a second. I think about my mom. My mom came to my pre-launch event and 
wow, how amazing is that? The person that brought me here in this life and shared so many just foundational things, like make sure that when you do something, you don't do it halfway, right? She didn't really use those words though. So history there, I think about my sister and all the support and the love and all of those things that our relationship has fostered over the years. And when I think back on my life, I'm gonna remember that she was there. And then I think about my grandmother. I mean, these are notable women in my life. And my grandmother would always say things like, don't take no wooden nickels. Now, you may not know what that means yet, you'll get it later. Maybe when you're driving or talking to a friend or when you're actually in a situation when you're taking less than you deserve. So I also think about people like my team, those people that support me through everything that we do here at CGM. And that is not just women, that's also men. So I know when men get the short end of the stick, right? We have been celebrating Women's History Month. Now, this started back in 1981 with just a week, and then we graduated to a month. We have a longer month than Black History Month. I think we deserve it. I don't know about the guys. They get an International Men's Day. Did you know that? Yeah, they get one. It's in November, so I guess we'll celebrate it when it gets here. Until then, we have to kind of thank the guys for being our support. And it doesn't just stop with the, the guys on my team. I get support from my father, and he was there during the event. And gosh, that made me feel so good. I know that a number of you have leading women and men in your life that are celebrating with you, that are supporting you, that are right there for your big moments. And you have to be there for their big moments. You have to be there to make history in their lives, whether it's a quote or whether it's just moments shared. You know, I think about the graduations that I attend and all of the people that get up and speak. And they always talk about, I remember when I was with so-and-so, or they have a quote from even unknowns and knowns. You know, people that have built a foundation for their life and have become a part of the thread that made them who they are. So who is that for you? I challenge you right now to go ahead and comment in our audience feed right there on Facebook. Maybe even you see an Instagram post and tag someone that has made an, a difference in your life, someone that has been a part of your history. So you're part of the audience let those women and men also because the men support us and we need them to be there we're not going to forget them on women's history month i mean although i do know that we have some men out there that are probably thinking women don't deserve a full month even still we need to make sure we give them a shout out because without them we likely wouldn't be who we are so i want to also talk about how we define our successes, right? Here we just did a pre-launch for CGM and we're celebrating Women's History Month and I consider that I'm making history. What history are you making? Each and every one of us are leaving a legacy. We're leaving an imprint on the people that we meet and the people that we see every day, whether it's a smile, whether it's a hug, whatever it is, we're leaving an imprint. So what history are you making? And how are you defining your successes? So when I think about building a better you, I think about how we note the things that we're doing. You know, how important is it to celebrate you and celebrate your successes, especially when maybe there's no one else out there doing it? I know that as I've embarked upon this endeavor, I have a number of people saying things like, oh, it was great to watch your little show. That's pretty cool. Or, you know, it was just something that you did. Or it's only a day, it's only 30 minutes, it's only this. And they start to minimize the things that you do. And sometimes that makes you think, well, maybe what I'm doing is not impactful. Well, I challenge you today to think about your, your successes and celebrate them 
because they are impactful. Because just as many people saying things like that, there are a lot more that are saying, thank you for sharing what you shared on your show. Thank you for giving us an example of what it means to soar. Thank you for giving us an example of what it means to walk in your passion and your purpose and to give something to others that helps them to win. Well, that's what I choose to listen to. I choose to celebrate my successes and I choose to continue to be someone who's making history. I also think about some of the people that are out there highlighting others that are making history as well. And one of those people is my assistant. She has a, a nonprofit that is women exceeding. And I've watched her post so many great things about what that looks like for women in the arts, for women in entertainment, real estate, and beyond. Now, to me, she's making history. And you should look to see a lot more from her because I'm sure she's just beginning. So you think about that, and you think about all of the other people out there that are making history. I say thank you because a lot of them I'm watching. I'm watching to see what they're doing. I'm watching their light. I'm watching how they shine because I want to learn too. This is how I build a better me. So this is how you can also build a better you. Now, another thing that I do is I support others. Now, as I focus on what it looks like to push forward in giving back, I think about those women that are gonna make history after me or tomorrow. And it literally starts with our girls. And so that's why I support organizations that support our girls being healthy and confident. And one of those organizations is Girls on the Run Greater Houston. Now, I'm asking that you guys take a look at a video of Girls on the Run Greater Houston because this is an amazing organization and it helps to focus on our young girls and how we make them the women that are making history tomorrow. So not only will you see a little bit about Girls on the Run and we'll talk about them when we come back from the break, you're also going to see our partners, a number of women that are making history as we speak. So we'll be right back after the break. Take a look at these girls and take a look at our partners. This is how we make history. MCA Communications and Office Furniture Innovations have combined their efforts to create a design lab for their clients. 
Interact is a collaborative canvas for the workplace environment. Our showroom is an active form and functional laboratory, constantly transforming to suit real-world needs. Through education on the latest and greatest furnishings and technology, we help our clients visualize how to integrate them into your own space. Interact. It's your workplace. Evolve. Welcome back to The Central Show. I hope you guys enjoyed some of our partners and of course, Girls on the Run because we are talking about Women's History Month. So you may want to go ahead and like, share, and follow. Maybe you have not had a chance to do that just yet. And make sure that you tag a woman that is making history in your life, someone who's done something great to impress upon you how amazing you are or something that you've carried through life that's helped you to become better. That's what we're celebrating this month, all of the accomplishments and achievements of not only those people in your life, don't forget yourself. I think that that is one of the most important things is to self-celebrate. We are doing so much and sometimes we do, we downplay it. You don't have to downplay the things about not downplaying your successes. One of the biggest things that we have to remember is that we deserve to be celebrated. And it's not boasting, it's not bragging, it is simply just saying, hey, you're doing a great job. And maybe you're already volunteering, you're already doing something to support people in your life. Guess what, celebrate that. And celebrate the things that you're doing to help people to become better. That's important, it's important it's important. So some of the things to take away from today are how do you celebrate your successes? How do you even clarify those successes? What are you doing to what are you doing to actually describe them? How are you describing them? Are you saying that they're small? Are you saying them that they're only? Are you saying they're just? Or are you really giving them some hype? Hype up your suggest suggest your successes. We just did a pre-launch of a studio, a studio that's here for the community so that they can come out and realize value for the value that they're putting out in social media. That's important. And I want people to realize that that's a huge accomplishment. And then not only that, when it comes to supporting other people, I am like a number one. 
I want to make sure that you know that there are people out there that are doing great things, they are making history, and they deserve to be celebrated as well. And one of the even bigger things that are, that's on my heart is Girls on the Run Greater Houston. It is the nonprofit that I serve on the board for, and it is some amazing young girls, third through eighth grade, and we need to support them. So this organization helps young girls to be healthy and whole and to realize their limitless potential. And we do that through running activities. So that whole healthy aspect, absolutely important because these young girls are gonna make history. They're gonna be the ones we're watching on TV or that we're seeing on social media or that are making you know, great strides in this world, you know, setting Olympic gold records, all of those amazing things and they need our support. So in celebration of Women's History Month, I wanna make sure that you know how to support them. You can go to www.gotrgreaterhouston.org and check out opportunities to volunteer. Or better yet, we are having our first ever sneaker soiree on March 29th. That's right, March 29th. That's only uh, nine days away. And the great thing is it's going to be at an amazing location, the new Hotel Zaza. And I like the old Hotel Zaza that's right there in the medical center. So this new one's gonna be even more amazing. And we want each and every one of you to come out. There are still some tickets available and also there are tables. And this is a tax deductible donation. So come out, share in some fun times with us. There'll be some photographs, silent auctions, gifts and giveaways. And then you'll also get to meet the girls, the girls that we are supporting today that will be our visionaries for tomorrow. So please make sure you check out www.gotrgreaterhouston.org and a way to support Women's History Month. Just in case you haven't been already, this is a great opportunity to do so. And maybe you know a young girl that would love to be a part of our programs. Make sure you check out the website and make sure that we get in touch with their school. So it has been an awesome opportunity to talk to you guys today. Building a better you starts with celebrating us and celebrating those people that are around us. I'm thankful for Women's History Month and I'm thankful for the men that celebrate women who are making history. So we appreciate you tuning in tonight. Again, make sure to support, like, share, and follow, and don't forget to tag someone who's been supporting you and who's making history today. We will catch you next time on The Central Show. Have a good evening.